tell me a little about the insecurity here and the relationship with the police force outside the community? Well, basically, what we're doing is peacekeeping. Our, our function here is to make sure that everyone is peaceful and we have a proper image of what this event is. This event is a peaceful demonstration against the rich establishment that used us, used us as riffraff. Um, unfortunately, because of the economic crisis that we're facing in this country, which is basically a programmed economic crisis, you know, we have a lot of people who are very smart, but they don't have work. And if a person can't work, they feel empty inside, dysfunctional. And our purpose here is to demonstrate that America is rising and recognizing that a change needs to occur. We have a problem with some of the issues that people don't want the police involved. What we have to recognize is these are the ultimate blue-collar workers. 37 police officers gave their lives here. 23 New York City police officers. 37 Port Authority police officers. And a variety of other law enforcement personnel from different agencies ran up in these towers. Now, if you look at these towers, you see how tall these towers are? The World Trade Center was more than twice the height of the constructed towers. So when you consider that these brave individuals saw what was occurring here and ran in here for total strangers to save 25,000 lives, 25,000 lives, people they didn't even know, these brave officers have to be respected. You have to respect these police officers. They gave their lives on 9-11, protecting total strangers. So when you consider that you have people in here who are saying, F the police, believe me, if they were home and a burglar broke into their house, the first people they would be calling is the police. Because that's the natural order of things. We have to work with these law enforcement officers to show that we have to keep this peaceful demonstration. Peace